The Special Atomic Demolition Munition, SADM, was a family of man-portable nuclear weapons fielded by the U.S. military in the 1960s, but never used in combat. The U.S. Army planned to use the weapons in Europe in the event of a Soviet invasion. U.S. Army Green Light Teams or Engineer Atomic Demolition Munitions Specialists would use the weapon to destroy, irradiate, and deny key routes of communication through limited terrain such as the Fulda Gap. Troops were trained to parachute into Soviet-occupied Western Europe with the SADM and destroy power plants, bridges, and dams. Coastal Targets It was also intended that the munition could be used against targets in coastal and near-coastal locations. One person carrying the weapon package would parachute from an aircraft and place the device in a harbor or other strategic location that was accessible from the sea. Another parachutist without a weapon package would follow the first to provide support as needed. The two-man team would place the weapon package in the target location, set the timer, and swim out into the ocean, where they would be retrieved by a submarine or a high-speed surface watercraft. Other Lightweight Nuclear Devices in the 1950s and 1960s, the United States developed several different types of lightweight nuclear devices. The smallest of these was the W-54 warhead, which had a 10.75 inches mm, diameter, was about 15.7 inches mm, long, and weighed approximately 51 pounds it was fired by a mechanical timer and had a TNT equivalent between 10 tons and 1 kiloton. The W-54 nuclear device was also used in the Davy Crockett weapon system and in the GAR-11 slash AIM-26A. Atomic Demolitions Munitions School The Atomic Demolitions Munitions School was located at the U.S. Army Engineer Center on F.T. Belvoir, Virginia, until it was closed in 1985. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.